her pairing with Alu Arjun was hot and sizzling. I think that's just gonna take it to the next level. Welcome back to The Adapter, I'm Ava, and today the first look for Brabaz 20, Radhe Sham, is officially out, and it is with no other than Pooja Hedge. I absolutely loved her in Alave Kunta Puramalo, that I think that she is an actress who can definitely stand her ground, and right now, just looking right off the bat, her and Brabaz, that intense eye contact look slash feeling slash moment, Woo! They kind of look like equals or like, you know, a power couple. Let's talk about the title. So if it's Radhe Sham, I know that's like Radha's Krishna. Yeah, the story is centered around her and it could be Sham in her perspective and in her eyes. Makes it even more romanticized because it's always like, you know, when you're explaining a new relationship to your friends, it's always like the best parts and the best aspects and all those little, little things that you've start liking this person for and possibly start falling in love with them for. So I think it will definitely romanticize Prabhas's character. I just hope it doesn't have some type of tragic ending. You know, like of course Radha Krishna, their love is eternal, but technically in modern society, in today's eyes, they really didn't end up together, you know? The backdrop is definitely gorgeous. It looks like it's a sunset and you have like a romantic dancing moment in between. It looks like it could be um, any type of Latin art form, which is very, very intimate. Then you also have the Colosseum in the back of of Rome, oh my god, of course, the most romantic city in the world, aside from Paris, of course. The way they're able to transition the water of the ocean into her dress, it really does make it look like a very big ball gown. And of course, you have the red color for fire, passion, romance. I really do enjoy seeing Pravas in like a romantic form because does he play it well? There's multiple layers to the character that he's playing and it kind of makes you fall in love with every single layer of his. So if this film is done absolutely well and we are able to live some sort of life normally in 2021, I think this movie could be bigger than Saho. I hope it's a very positive, uplifting, and happy ending type of story. That is pretty much my take for now. If you guys haven't done so already, definitely subscribe to this channel for more content like this. I can also be found on Instagram, Facebook, so check me out there. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace out.